Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you how to recharge the AC system on Mazda CX-7. Guys, here now we have at the shop and we have at least 60 videos. Check them out if you have one of those. We will probably save you some money, guys. Uh, please subscribe, let's grow the channel together. We did engine replacement, so the system is completely empty. If you replace the AC line or something like that, your system is empty, okay? If you replace the compressor, which means you unhook the hoses. If you had a leak and you need to refill it, we'll show you how to do that if the system is empty all the way. So when you open the hood, okay, let me show you right here. You can find the information, okay, the information for the AC. That's on the radiator support. It says 1.1 pounds or uh, 500 grams of 134A. One can, guys, like that, it's 340. So we will need a little bit less than can and a half. Or you can get one big can which is close to 500, which will be amazing, okay? Next, you need to find the low pressure side. This is high pressure, low pressure right there. So remove the cap and we'll connect the two now with the hose. Okay, like that. And next thing, you will need to go inside the car. We are going to go ahead, start the vehicle. You need to have the fan on, all the way on cold now. You need to have the AC button on, okay? It's important to have the fan on, otherwise it will not work. AC button on, and now we are going to go outside the car. And we'll start adding Freon, stay out of the way of the belt and stuff. Never do that while the engine is turning to connect it. Always connect the hose while the engine is not running. Right now it's about 70 outside, so we'll need to be between 25 and 45. Okay, it started taking it already. So it's gonna take some time. Okay, and when the compressor turns on, it will, the pressure will drop. That's because when it builds pressure, the compressor kicks in until you have constant pressure. Okay, we are going to turn the car off right now. Always turn the car off if you need to add a second can. Okay, that way the engine is not turning and you're not, uh, uh, you're not going to hurt yourself. Okay, so we'll just disconnect the hose, change the can, always wear gloves, eye protection. Okay, and some will always leak out, so preferably do that outside. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. Okay, second one, we're going to connect it just the same way we did before. And we will add only half of this one now. Okay, started it again, and we'll start adding free on now. Okay guys, we added the second can, it's empty, and the second half I mean. So, can and a half. Okay, the system's full all the way. Check this thing out. Okay, let me turn the light on. Our gauge is a little bit foggy. Okay, 40 degrees. Super cold, I mean, it will freeze. So now you can just go ahead, turn the car off and after we turn it off, we're going to disconnect the tool now. Okay, remember, and always when you have the car running, always have the shop door open, Be doing, do that outside, that's better. Because you can, you can get poisoning from the exhaust, okay? We'll just disconnect it now and that's it guys, that's the whole procedure. Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe and see you next time.